How to play cheat, bullshit, bluff, liar, and I doubt it the card game. This game is generally called cheat. BS. I doubt it. Bluff or liar. The aim is to get rid of all your cards by playing them to a discard pile. It is a game of deception, with cards being played face down and players being permitted to lie about the cards they have played. A challenge is usually made by players calling out the names of the game, and a loser of the challenge has to pick up every card played so far. What do you need to play the cheat card game? One pack of 52 cards is used for four or less players. Five or more players should combine two 52 card packs. Let's start the game. Shuffle the cards and deal them as evenly as possible among the players. No card should be left. Some players may end up with one more card or less than another player. The player who sits to the left of the dealer, clockwise, goes first. The player to the left of the dealer starts by placing between one and four cards face down in a discard pile in the center. The player must state what the cards are, but does not have to tell the truth. The player must claim the cards are of the same value. For example, a player could say they have three kings and place any three cards in the center. The other players can call cheat, BS bluff, liar, I doubt it, etc. If a cheat is called, the player's cards must be shown to everyone else. If the challenger who called the cheat is correct and the player was lying, the cheater must pick up all the cards in the discard pile. The challenger takes the next turn. If the challenger is wrong, that player picks up the discard pile. The player to the left of the player who played the cards takes the next turn. If a cheat is not called, the next player to the left takes a turn. They must declare the value of the cards to either be the same, one up, or one down from the previous player. For example, if the previous cards were kings, the next player should play or claim to play queens, kings, or a certain number of aces. Or if the previous player said they played a six, the next player would need to claim they are playing either fives, sixes, or sevens, also face down and announces it what rank it is, which again can be a lie. Play continues like this until the game is over. How to win the game? The first player to get rid of all of his or her cards wins. Usually this is the first player to actually have the last card that must be played on his or her turn. Different variations of cheat card game do exist. Play without limits to value. Rather than limiting the play with rules about what values must be played each turn, Players can play any value of cards they like. This means that players won't be forced to lie unless they choose to. However, lying will pay off as the winner is likely to be the player that manages to get rid of most of the cards. Playing downward or upwards. Players must only play one downwards or one upwards in rank. This version means that players are forced to cheat more often. Allow cheating on the number of cards. In normal cheat, you should not lie about the number of cards you play. For example, if you said you were playing three tens and you actually play four cards, it is proper cheating. However, you could agree to allow this sort of cheating. Challenge this form of cheating in the same way as other cheating. Include jokers. Include jokers as wild cards. Players have to lie about their value to get rid of them. Randomize cheat. You need two identical packs of cards. Take a random section out of, say, five cards from one pack without showing anyone and mix in those with the full pack. Then play cheat as before, but with the greater uncertainty as it will be possible to play five or more cards at once. Someone might even get eight of a kind. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow future videos as well and click on the bell icon to activate notifications when new and exciting videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching this video.